Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope and today I want to talk about some contemporary romances featuring teachers. So I really enjoy a teacher romance. Um, a lot of these aren't teacher student romances. There is like one on the list, but for the most part, I just really enjoy when like someone is a teacher. Bonus points if there are two teachers and they are like together like in school somehow. I always wondered about my teachers, especially like the coaches and stuff like so nosy so I always wondered about stuff like that but I just really enjoy I just really enjoy it I like workplace romances and I think it's fun when it's in a school because like the students always know what's up you know so I just think these are a lot of fun and I recommend all of them so all of these are romance recommendations so the first one that I have is Beauty and the Baller by Elsa Madden Mills okay I've talked about this book a ton of times five stars one of my top 10 favorites of the year absolutely love it so we are following Ronan and Nova. Ronan is a former professional football player turned Texas high school football coach. Nova is trying to figure her life out and she's just moved back home to her small town. But a year ago they had a one night stand where she was dressed as Princess Leia. I mean like great start, right? Okay, so Nova and Ronan are neighbors. Nova has moved back and she's taking care of her younger sister who's still in high school. So they're neighbors, they're kind of enemies at the beginning. He is like super loud and he's having this huge party when she gets there and she's just absolutely furious and annoyed. But she's basically the town sweetheart and now he's like the king of the town too. So they're thrown together a lot. She instantly recognizes him. It takes him a little bit longer to recognize her, but honestly, it's so good, it's so much fun. He was in a car accident, his, was it his fiance died and he ended up with a scar across his cheek and he's, you know just trying to figure things out he thinks he wants to go to the NFL and coach but right now he's in Texas coaching a football team so he's getting really close to all the guys and she ends up coming into work as his personal assistant for a little while and then of course she finds out that he might be leaving and that is a lot of tension but there's just a lot of fun like there's a lot of stuff with him like coaching these guys and kind of telling them how to be better people there's a lot of her spending time with her sister and I think it's always great when that happens like her and her sister have such a great relationship but also just like the things that they're doing together to build their relationship in this small town in Texas like 10 out of 10 so very good we don't get a ton of like teacherness I'm gonna be 100% honest with that but it's still just so good I can't wait to complete this series like it's it's not all out yet but I can't wait to like keep reading it when it comes out and it's on Kindle Unlimited so the next one that I have is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is part of the Brown Sister series. Oh my goodness, such a good series. So love the whole series, but I especially love Take a Hint, Danny Brown. So we have Danny and Zaf. Danny is a PhD student who is also teaching, and Zaf's a security guard in the building. So there's this like emergency drill thing, and she kind of gets stuck inside. So he goes inside and rescues her, and he carries her out like fireman carry style, and it's recorded, and the video goes viral. So they were friends before this, but they kind of decide to press on this kind of relationship that the video is hitting at because they want to help this charity that he's trying to start because he's like, he used to play rugby or something. So super good. Their friendship is phenomenal. Danny ha is like a commitment phobe, um, which is kind of an issue, and Zaf suffers from severe anxiety, so Danny is able to help him through some of that. But I just really enjoyed this book. I loved the characters. I loved their relationship. I love their relationship growth from friends to lovers. Love a good friends to lovers romance, honestly. And I think this one is so well done. Um, I think both characters are pretty in touch with themselves, but also there's like a lot of things that they're kind of struggling through and they have to figure out why and they have to figure out if they really wanna be together. Honestly, just absolutely love this one. I love that whole series, but like I really, really, really like this one too. So definitely suggested it was my favorite in the series, honestly. And then I have Craft by Adriana Locke. I have this book because I loved it that much. So this is one of the Gibson Brothers books. It is book two, I think, and we are following Lance and Mariah. Lance is a playboy who's obsessed with dating apps and is also a teacher, aren't they always? Mariah is kind of a goody two shoes type and she is the librarian she loves to bake and lance comes in and steals sweets like every single day and kind of uses her office as a phone booth so they don't really get along but they've both been talking to someone on a dating app and lance thinks this girl is like a nurse or something but she always just doesn't want to meet up so they finally meet up and he finds out that it's mariah and he is just kind of floored there's always been a little bit of attraction for both of them but they weren't kind of diving in head first or anything but then once he kind of meets her and realizes she's this girl that he's been talking to and she's not as like buttoned up and innocent as she seems, he is kind of jumping in and all of the Gibson boys kind of struggle with different things. So 
Lance has kind of had a rough go of it. He's definitely a commitment phobe, and they do work together. So there's just kind of a lot going on, but honestly, so, so, so good. This is like my favorite book in the series. This one, and the, actually, honestly, I love the whole series. I'm pretty sure I gave all of them like five stars, but I really, really, really enjoyed Lance and Mariah. I like how Lance kind of grows up throughout the book because he's such a playboy type, and he's always like with another woman every single night, blah, blah, blah. So I really like that he like grows up and gets in a relationship and like meets a girl that he likes that isn't like a pushover that's just like, oh my gosh, let's just have sex and be done with it. And I really like how Mariah went from being like quiet and really nervous around him to learning how to stand her ground and being like the strong woman that she is. Absolutely loved it. Like, mm, totally recommend this book. Totally recommend this whole series. The whole series is on Kindle Unlimited too. So definitely give that a read. Then what I have Moonshine Kiss by um, Lucy Score and Claire Kingsley. This is the middle of a series. It is the bootleg spring series. So I suggest reading these books in order, but this is book three, and Cassidy is a cop, and Bowie is a teacher. So years ago, there was this missing girl called Callie Kendall, right? And her disappearance has kind of come back to the forefront, and they're doing a lot of work trying to, like, find her or find out if, like, Bowie's father was involved in her disappearance, all kinds of things like that. So there's reporters swarming around town, everything. And Cassie is best friends with Bowie's sister, but she's kind of been pushed out of the loop a little bit because she is a police officer and, you know, the police are investigating all of them. So that's a little bit tough. But Cassie and Bowie are neighbors. They share a duplex. They share like a wall. And she is so, so, so attracted to him. And he is so, so, so attracted to her. So definitely some mutual pining there. But years ago, like her dad said, you know, like, she's not for you or whatever and he really internalized that and took that to heart and he is honestly afraid to do or say anything because he respects her dad so much but Cassie definitely knows what she wants and like what she wants is Bowie and like vice versa so there's a lot of really steamy scenes where they are like slamming through the doors like hooking up and like his half brother that they all just found out about is living with her with him right now so poor guy is always like seeing all kinds of stuff but honestly it's so good and like I really just love that series the whole series I do suggest reading it in order but like I read it in a weekend because it was amazing Let's see. The next one that I have is called Heavy Petting. It is by Aaron Nicholas and is part of the ba uh, Boys of the um, Boys of the Bayou Gone Wild series. So in it, we have Fletcher and Jordan. Fletcher and Jordan are childhood BFFs, um, but they have grown apart a little bit because Jordan has been on tour with her musician boyfriend, and Fletcher has been at home in a tour. It's like A U T R E. I don't know how to say that. Louisiana, and he is a teacher. And him and Jordan had like a moment years ago in Galveston and then a couple of months ago at this wedding, like a triple wedding that they had, but she ended up leaving to go on a world tour. So her boyfriend dumps her, well he doesn't dump her, but basically he proposes to her and he says the wrong name. He says like the name of his drummer in his band on national television, like at this giant concert. So Fletcher goes to Las Vegas to, you know, help her. Well, they end up getting married. And because they're best friends and they know each other so well, like they're like, you know what? Hell yeah. And they get married and just go move into his house. But Fletcher has always been the guy that like saves the day for Jordan. So he's afraid that like their sex isn't going to be good enough. He's not going to do what she likes. He doesn't know what she likes. And it's not going to be perfect. So he is like very hesitant and very nervous which is so unlike him and Jordan is like what is going on because like you're always there for me blah 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 so I really enjoyed this book I love that it didn't have this like huge ridiculously large falling out it's you know they're friends they're not just gonna stop being friends because something silly happens and I think that it's so important to realize that in books a lot of the time because a lot of times you just have that huge climactic like breakup scene but this doesn't have that it has them getting to know each other and realizing what they want and I think that that's equally as important because it goes with who the characters are like they're friends they didn't just meet and they're gonna stop being friends like they've literally been friends for their entire lives I absolutely loved it I think this series is really cute but this one was just so 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 good flew through this one too um what's next Mm, okay, I have Underneath It All by um, Kate Canterbury. So I read this one a long time ago, but really enjoyed it. So we are following Lauren and Matt. This is part of the Walsh series. So Matt is the Walsh. This is the first book. So Lauren is 
a former teacher and she's trying to start a school and then we have Matt who is an architect and he's like a structural engineering architect and he's showing her buildings and they're super attracted to one another and you know one thing ends up leading to another and like they're hooking up but neither of well Lauren doesn't want a relationship and like Matt just has a lot of trouble with his siblings and with his father and with his family and there's just a lot going on in his life but he is super into Lauren and Lauren is like literally running she's one of those people that's so busy all the time like she's trying to start this school so she's doing this fellowship and she's going to conferences and she's just doing all kinds of stuff so she's trying to pretend like she doesn't have enough time or room for Matt but then something traumatic happens in his life and she is there because she realizes that she wants to be there and she does love Matt and it's just so so good so I'm not going to tell you what the traumatic thing is and everything else but it's super good and you get to meet a lot of the family you meet the whole family and they're great like for people that grew up the way that they did they are just so close and they support one another so well there is one sister that we don't meet in the book because she's like away um studying volcanoes but you get to meet the rest of the family and they're all such like unique characters and so good and honestly the whole series is great i really enjoyed the whole series but I really like Lauren and Matt. I think they're a fantastic series starter. And you get like a lot of stuff about what she's doing with her school and everything. And it's a lot of fun. And she really loves like lingerie and stuff. And that's fun too. And then I have another one by Kate Canterbury. I read it a long time ago. I don't remember a ton about it. It's part of the Benchmark series and it's called Professional Development. So we're following these two teachers, Tara and Drew. They work at Lauren's school and they are being sent to a conference and they really don't get along like they don't like one another they're not friends whatever so they have to share a car to go to this conference and it's a novella so it's not very long anyway so you don't get a ton of information about the characters i feel like so on the way back from the conference there is this horrible snowstorm and they get in trouble for driving on the road and they have to pull over and they pull over to this little roadside inn and, and they have to spend the night together and they kind of start to realize that maybe all of their animosity is actually attraction in disguise I, that one was cute like I said it's like a little novella the last one I have is also a novella and it's probably going to be controversial and that is Defy by LJ Shin so I read LJ Shin's books a very long time ago and Defy was one of my favorites so we are following Jamie and Melody Melody is a not very good teacher at a school and Jamie is one of her students he has just turned 18 and he's the principal's son and absolutely loaded so one day she backs into his car um, and basically he's like this is gonna happen and he takes the blame for the car and makes everyone be really good in her class So he can have detention with her and then they start sleeping together Melody is a failed ballerina She like broke her leg when she was at Juilliard and Jamie is gonna go do football in Texas somewhere And of course like their relationship is highly illegal um, Even though he's 18 she is his teacher and they kind of have to figure out if this is real or if it's just like Sex or what? Um, I'm not explaining this one well at all, but I really did enjoy it. I thought it was pretty hot. There are a lot of really good sex scenes in it. And I read like a different series first. So like I met Jamie and Melody as like adults. So for me, it was really interesting to go back and read that book later. So anyway, those are the teacher romances that I have for you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed them and I'll see you next time. Bye.